41 canoes got away at the start of the three-day marathon race they call the killer in Quebec. It's a dangerous test of skill, strength and courage for the contestants who faced a tortuous 125 miles of fast-running, log-strewn river plus several tough overland excursions carrying their canoes. Staged over three days, the race is held every year on the St. Morris River, scene of the event since 1934. Keeping up an average of over eight miles an hour demands the skill of knowing where the fastest currents are. Strength shows itself when contestants bring their craft ashore for the overland stretches. The canoe weighs a minimum of 60 pounds, and that's plenty after battling with the surging currents. It's not always forest paths they have to keep to in their bid to be first over the line. The sight of husky men trying for the honours in the killer attracts more than 150,000 spectators every year. Watching is certainly easier than taking part. But on the last stretch, every reserve of strength comes into use. There's an American team in the lead going strongly, and they won despite the homegrown competition. A hard, gruelling race won by 15 seconds with just over 200 pounds prize money for the victorious Americans.